Zale followed the suspicious man to a tavern. The Flame and Lizard. An unremarkable tavern in a dark corner of the city. Alone, Zale stepped inside. The man in the road has to be here somewhere. He's the one who took that girl. You're gonna give me that child you kidnapped. What child? Give her back, before something bad happens to you. Quite cocky, aren't you? But you're out of your league. No one gets in our way and lives. You seem to be doing pretty well on your own. Hope you don't mind us lot barging in anyway. I don't know. He still seems reckless as ever to me. It's a raid! On the ground floor! You're gonna regret coming here! This is getting serious. We'll show you terror like you never know. He looks like the leader. If we take him, the rest will be plain sailing. Right, let's get busy. Dagwin, are we alright using magic in here? There you go, thanks for it. Fill your boots. Don't tell me you're gonna take it. You know me so well. You're gonna get so happy. Then let's finish this and get out of here. I'll scout ahead, see what's up. Okay, we'll keep watch. Not much point in me going upstairs. Tight spaces and fireballs don't mix. Why is it so quiet? There's nobody here. <sighs> what's going on? Its back is where it's weakest. Give it what for? <laughs> Throwing henchmen over banisters is not scouting. Having a little fun without us, love? Ah, there's another door. I'll check this one. Seren, you and me are on the other one. Let's do it. You and Seren check the other door. You and Seren check the other door. He won't let you stop! 
stop the ceremony! It won't open. I wonder how Dagrin's sparing. What's this key for? I'll head back and show the others. Dagrin, we found a locked door. I just happen to have a key. Now, only one door left. Ah, you two are like brothers. Brings a tear to my eye. Give it a rest, Seren. It's closed by magic. Nobody here. The shutter's moving. Maybe I can open it. Zale, we might be able to get next door from the outside. Quite an acrobatic plan. Your dad asked us to help you. Oh, I see. I'd better get home and let him know I'm alright. He must be so worried. Ah, <sighs> then we're off too. Yes! I'm gonna drink some of my spoils. Oh, 
What's this crazy black mist? Yeah, what's going on? Something's here. Darkness can be destroyed with fire. I've got this. Jay, see those braziers? They might help. Knock them over. I can fight too. You can use my heal magic. Cheers, kid. Try not to get hurt. The terrifying monster defeated, the mercenaries escorted the girl back to her father. A secret society hidden in an everyday tavern. Even in the glorious light of Lazulus Island, there were places that remained in darkness. For the brighter the light, the greater the shadow it casts.
I don't know how much longer. I don't know how much longer I can stick with being a knight. Just hang in there. You'll only feel worse if you quit. The Count's chamber is just ahead. Master Zale, the Count awaits you. Have you come to a decision? Soon you will become a knight, and if you perform well, then I would consider letting you marry Callista. That doesn't sound so bad, does it? You've made the right choice, good boy. Now my mind is at ease. Callista is sure to be happy as well. <laughs> Excellent. I hereby grant you this sword, treasured within the Argonan family. Things will get a lot busier around here. I'm expecting great things from you. I have gathered you all here for a very important announcement. This horrific assault has taught us one thing, that the threat of the Garak has by no means been consigned to history. Fortunately, the crisis was averted, but the Garak may be planning to strike again. You must realize I will not sit back and simply wait for this to happen. And so I declare today we shall take the fight to the Gorak continent! For at last, we have the power to make this a reality. A man with the mark of the Outsider has appeared, and he will awaken an ancient power hidden deep in the island. Gentlemen, I give you Zael, our savior! He will allow us to achieve our greatest ambition. To destroy the Garak and bring peace to the Empire. These two fine men, Zael and Daglan, have already dealt the Garak a significant blow by heroically assaulting their frontline base. Therefore, today I officially name these two Knights in Training and Retainers of my Court. Grant them your full support.
Callista. Please, you have to understand. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. And so Zael and Dagron became knights in training and official retainers of the court. Their dream was finally within their grasp. It seemed that their days of fighting for survival might soon come to an end. The wheels were in motion, yet Zael still harbored some doubt. Well then, here's to Zael and Dagron, the new knights in training. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Can't believe it's finally happened. You're on the road to becoming knights. I'm proud like you wouldn't believe. What are you proud of? You didn't do anything. You're joking. Without me fighting by their side, they'd never have made it this far. Can we not enjoy a friendly drink today? Without all the usual bickering? So, I guess it's all at war with the Garak then. Looks like we'll all get a chance to show our stuff. Exactly. Zael and I may have been picked first. But you've all been made official retainers in Count Arganon's court. The dream is for all of us to be knights. I won't stop working towards that. I can just see the look on Sir Hoity Toity's face when he finds out we're knights. Zael, what's wrong? This is supposed to be good news. Oh, no. It's nothing. Are you feeling disheartened because you weren't able to see Lady Callista? Don't be down in the dumps. Women change their mind from one second to the next. Indeed. Never has a truer word been spoken. Uh, what are you saying about me? Ah, that really <laughs> hot. Oh. <sighs> now I'm all hot and bothered. Guess it's time for what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> what? What have they been waiting for? You still seem to be in low spirits, Zale. But Dagrin has worked very hard to get you this far. This is a time to eat and drink. And eat and eat and eat and be merry. Ah, oh, it's good to move up in the world. But I'm already sick to death of all this formal manners stuff. At least I can still come here and relax. Maybe it's not so bad. Why is that guy who want to find a master of archery anyway? Weird sort of thing to be looking for if you ask me. I've eaten tons and tons and it's all thanks to you, Zale. I bet if I eat enough, I'll grow up and be big and strong like you. Dagwin's always carrying a sword he never uses. What's up with that? Oh, it's something me and Dagwin bought when we first set up our band of mercenaries. That sword's like the first step on the road to our dream. Fair enough, but how come he never uses it? We were pretty young when we bought it. At the time, we didn't realise it's actually just a ceremonial sword. But Dagron calls it our treasure, and always keeps it in good nick. You two really are close. Why is that guy who want to find a master of archery anyway? Oh, Zale! Has that little discussion caught your interest? Rare to see our pal Dagron so wasted. 
Well, I guess I'll be his shoulder to cry on later. Didn't I say I'd make you a knight one day? <laughs> it's funny seeing you drunk. We're gonna be happy from now on. You hear me? We're gonna make it! Dagrun, I wish it was that simple. Zael! Come here and chat for a bit. It'll be great. Careful, Zale. You won't escape till morning. Although, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. What have you got to lose? Why is that guy you want? Oh, Zale! Has that little discussion caught your interest? Can you tell me a bit more? I don't see why not. There's a guy dressed in blue, over in Fountain Plaza. He hassles everyone who comes past, asks if they know a master of archery. Apparently he's just dying to meet one for some reason. That's a point. You're not bad yourself, are you? Why not go and see him? Zael! Come here and chat for a bit. It'll be great. Ah, oh, come on! Hurry up and get over here! We've got partying to do! Zale! Come. It'll be great. Careful, Zale. You won't escape. The mercenary celebration carried on until dawn. And the next morning. Is there a master of archery around? I hope one shows up soon. Oh, hello. Would you happen to be a master of archery? I don't know about master. I'm still only a knight in training. Oh, I see, I see. If you have a problem with that, I'll be going. No, 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 not at all. There's actually a little something I'd like to ask of you. I want you to fire this arrow through a certain person's heart. I'm not an assassin. No, no. You have to hear me out to the end. Oh, hey there, Zale. Why the face like you just ate a lemon? This man was just asking me to kill somebody with this arrow. No way. Is that a real charm arrow? A charm arrow? I've heard the rumors, but is this really? That's quite correct. I'm not talking about murder. This arrow won't harm anyone. But it does have the power to melt the heart of any beautiful lady in the world. Hmm, it sounds like a tool for the kind of kid who can't pick up a lady on his own. Sh shut up! How could a guy with your good looks understand what it's like for me? Wow, you're a lost cause. Even your heart is twisted and ugly. What did you say? All right, all right. Let's just get this over with, shall we? It's that girl over there, in the pale blue dress. Don't go any closer or she might spot you. What? 
You missed! How could you do that to my precious charm arrow? You better not miss next time, okay? These things don't come cheap. What? That's not her! Oh my. Will you be my sweet little pixie? Ah, ah, s s stay away from me! Wait for me, darling. Let's play special games together till the break of dawn. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was brilliant. Did you do it on purpose? Don't be silly. I wouldn't do that. I guess I need to work on my aim. Well, I guess he deserved it for relying on that thing in the first place. Master Zale, you have been summoned by Count Argonin. Please return to Master Zale, you have been summoned by Count Argonin. Please return to Latilus Castle. Master Zale, you have been summoned by See General Astoff. Did you see General Astoff fighting? It was something else. Don't forget, Sertherius. Why can't we all be that skilled, eh? Jarrell was skulking around his room doing something earlier. How suspicious! What could he be up to? I don't know how much longer... I don't know how much longer I can stick with being a knight. Must have felt the most Garak in that last battle. No, no, I did, to be sure. Didn't the two of you run off screaming? I don't know how much. The Count's chair. The thought alone. Master Zale. The Count awaits you. I'm very sorry. But Lady Callista does not wish to see anyone. I see. Thanks. Huh. Who 
is it? Oh, it's you. What are you doing there? That's Callista's room. This is, um... It is my responsibility as Callista's fiancé to watch over her always, yes. <laughs> Nobles are into some really weird stuff. Master Zale, the Count awaits you. Master Zale, the Count summons you and your companions. Dagron, when did you get here? Not long before you did. The Count and I were just discussing matters. Today, we will set forth for the Garak continent. Huh? Today? My lord, isn't that a bit too soon? Surely the fleet needs time to prepare. <laughs> I can certainly understand your doubts. Dagron, tell him. There's a legend on this island, of a fortress that crosses the seas. What? What does that even mean? It's just what it sounds like. A fortress you can steer like a ship. Once upon a time, it charged across the sea and drove the Garak from the Empire. So the story goes, anyway. The founder of the House of Argonin left writings about it. But no one alive today has seen it for themselves, and no other evidence remains. According to those writings, however, a man with the mark of the Outsider will have the ability to reawaken the fortress. Aha! Uh -huh. So the one who can bring back this legendary fortress is our very own Zale. Exactly. And we're going to turn that legend into a reality. We're going to a place under the castle called the Realm of Ascendancy. And what's that when it's at home? It's a sealed area. One that will open only for the man who bears the mark of the Outsider. When he gets there, Zale will need to reach out to the island itself, in order to uncover the Fortress of Legend. Of course, there's some kind of trial we have to pass before we can get there. Oh yeah? What kind of trial are we talking about? It's best if we see it for ourselves. That's all the Count said. If he doesn't know, why doesn't he just admit it? Seren. <clears throat> it is time for you to prove your loyalty. And Master Zale, please use the secret stairs to enter the castle depths. Here is the device to activate them. A knight lives to defend the people. How shameful that this is forgotten. Now, true knights are few and far between. Something must be done. The Count is waiting in the castle depths.
Ah, you're here. Where are the others? Sorry to keep you waiting. All presence incorrect. Ascendancy lies at the end of a passage guarded by dark spirits. These spirits will only reveal themselves to one with the outsider's power. Without it, they cannot even be seen. Zael, you must use your power to overcome them. So that's the trial. Naturally, I do not doubt you will succeed in reaching the realm of Ascendancy. However, you must leave a number of your companions here with me. Not that I expect you to betray me, but you understand. Never hurts to be careful, huh? I'll go with Zael. The rest of you wait here. Uh, may I join too? Moronia? Makes sense, doesn't it? The two of you can't heal on your own. She'll help out loads. I guess you're right. Fine. What's up? You worried? You can do it, mate. Go on. Off with you. Dagron will batter you if you keep him waiting. Bring back some beer! What are you doing? We can't leave this place until you're finished. Let's go, Zael. Don't worry, I'm with you every step of the way. Tell me you're not thinking of keeping the Count waiting. What is the delay? Go now! The path to the realm of ascendancy. Nothing stirred in its desolate corridors. But there was something there. A warped presence. An inescapable feeling of dread that sullied the air. <laughs> 